Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Thursday, March 30th, 2023. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, presented by Annapolis Subaru and the SPCA of Anne Arundel County. I am so ready for the weekend. It's been a really crazy week here for me, and I just want to kick back, and I just heard that I'm a judge for the Maryland Chicken Wing Festival on Saturday, so that's a pretty yummy gig for me. Bribes will be graciously accepted. But if you do need tickets, ABC Events Inc. Dot com is where you want to go. And I do hear that Bridget has a code for a discount for $5. Try Beeper MCW, and that's B-E-E-P-R-M-C-W, and you'll save $5 on every ticket you want to buy. Anyhow, we do have some news, so shall we? For these first two stories, you're going to have to check back with ionanapolis.net a little bit later as we only have some very limited information. Yesterday afternoon, a man was shot and killed in the 1500 block of Shoreside Trail in Pasadena. We don't have any more information on this, but we'll have a story a little bit later on this morning. And down here in Annapolis, the Annapolis Fire Department was called to 47 Randall Street in downtown yesterday evening for a commercial building fire. Now, this is the building where the Big Cheese Deli is located, and the fire appears to have been on the second floor, and the sprinklers did activate. Again, we don't have many details. We expect some more a little bit later this morning. As the Police Accountability Board is ramping up their work, they don't seem overly happy with the police who they are supposed to have accountable to them. In a quarterly meeting, Luke Parker from the Capitol reports that they feel that the departments are not being transparent and it's creating mistrust among the public. They claim that when they get a direct complaint, they get all the details. But when a complaint comes from a citizen reporting it to the police department, the police department is required to report it to the board within three days, but the info they get is scant. Most of the agencies appear to be agreeable to increasing transparency, except for the Annapolis Police Department, which is no real surprise there. But Chief Jackson said he may be interested in reviewing a memorandum of understanding, clarifying what info the board feels they need. AccuWeather released their 2023 hurricane forecast yesterday, and this year looks to be less active than every other season since 1995. So I guess that's good news. They said that the Northeast would likely be spared, and the Mid-Atlantic also should be spared the worst of any storms. Of course, Florida is the one that's in danger. Hurricane season does start on June 1st and runs, I think, through November 1st. Orioles opening day is about a week away, and there are some new food choices for you at Camden Yards this year. The new concessionaire is going to be serving, quote, elevated fare, which I think means more expensive. There will be a thing called a Be More Chicken Box, which is chicken tenders, Old Bay fries, hot sauce, and a Hawaiian roll. There's a thing called a Buffalo Bird Dog, which is chicken tenders on a hot dog bun with ranch and hot sauce. There's a yard dog, which is three hot dogs with crab dip sauce. And to be honest, nothing that I just said has any appeal to me at all. The Annapolis Dragon Boat Club will be on the local business spotlight this weekend, but the team is preparing to go to New Zealand for an international dragon boat competition. We talk all about it on Saturday, so you do want to check that out. And, oh, did I mention that all of these rowers are breast cancer survivors. What a great group of people. And actually, I don't think they're called rowers. I think they're called paddlers. Well, time for the silly poll of the day. Apparently, a Super Mario Brothers movie is releasing soon, and the folks at cribbageonline.net wanted to know the most loved Mario character. So, if that's been keeping you up at night, here you go. The most popular Mario Brothers character is... Yoshi, followed by Luigi, Mario, Toad, and Bowser Jr. Now you can rest. All right, that's all I've got news-wise. Podcast stuff up this weekend on the Local Business Spotlight, as I mentioned, will be the Annapolis Dragon Boat Club. And actually, I'm going to be bouncing Annapolis tours and crawls from the following week 
to be replaced with the Blue Ribbon Project because they do have an open house coming up on the 15th. And that is a wrap. As always, thank you for being you and a thank you to the sponsors for the Daily News Brief. Annapolis Subaru, the SPCA of Anne Arundel County, Solar Energy Services, Hospice of the Chesapeake, and the Maryland Higher Education Commission. Okay, so now you need to hang tight because we have George from DCMDVA Weather here with the only locally forecast weather report you will find. And of course, Trevor is here with your Annapolis Makerspace Maker Minute. All that coming up in just a bit. Did you get close to completing your college degree but dropped out during the COVID pandemic? Well, as a near completer, you may be eligible to receive money from the Maryland Higher Education Commission to finish your degree. Again, if you started your degree but for whatever reason never finished it, the Maryland Higher Education Commission has money to help you return to college and finish what you started. Go to mhec.maryland.gov and click on the Near Completer Grant to learn more. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Thursday, March 30th. Yesterday brought a really pleasant late March weather day to the Annapolis region, and today will be nice as well, though a bit chilly, before a warm-up and some rain Friday into Saturday, ahead of a cool and clear finish to the weekend. Look for max sunshine today with chilly highs in the lower mid-50s after a cold start this morning with temps in the 30s to be followed by mixed skies tomorrow with breezy highs in the mid or upper 60s across all of Anne Arundel County with some p.m. rain expected as well but likely holding off until late in the day or even the nighttime hours with rain showers potentially lasting through much of Saturday morning with highs in the 70s to get the weekend started as winds become a bit gusty Saturday afternoon behind a frontal boundary which will help clear skies out in time for Sunday with clear skies and breezy winds expected as highs settle back down into the mid or upper 50s to close out the weekend. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there today. Stay healthy and be safe. Don't forget, follow DC MDVA Weather on Facebook and Twitter for regular updates each day along with our website at dcmdvaweather.info so you can always stay weather informed. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Have you been looking for ways to save money recently? Maybe you should consider solar energy for your home. Or are you waiting for the technology to get cheaper? If so, how long are you going to wait? Today's solar costs less than 20% of what it cost 10 years ago. But while solar prices have declined every year, so have the financial incentives. Bottom line, if you wait for cheaper solar, you're also waiting for lower incentives. Take my home, for example. My solar system was installed in 2010, and it's been paid off for almost five years, and I no longer have to buy any electricity for another 15 to 20 years. If I waited for cheaper solar, I'd still be paying an electric bill. At Solar Energy Services, we have thousands of satisfied customers who are sure glad they didn't wait. So what are you waiting for? Sunshine's a wasted. Call us today for a free solar design at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. Every week, makers, crafters, and educators hold events all over the area. Highlighting some of those, here's our Maker Minutes, brought to you by Annapolis Makerspace. Hey, this is Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. At Wolf on the Wharf on Saturday, they're doing a charmed paint your pup event, painting your dogs on canvas, and adding charms to the dog's collar after you paint them. At Knits and Pieces off of Bestgate Road, Sunday, check out Dig into Double Knitting, and Monday, they have a Spring Charm Set Workshop. And registration is open for their Learn to Knit April sessions, a techniques class with continental knitting, learn to crochet a baby blanket, learn to knit socks, and a toy knitting class coming up in April and May. Tomorrow, the Creative and Performing Arts of South County in Edgewater is having another art night for ages 7 through 10, as well as another session for ages 11 and up. This session's topic is rock painting. At Whole Foods in Annapolis, today their Half Pint Kids Club is doing rice cake desserts with one session at 11 a.m. and a second session at 1 p.m. Tomorrow, they're doing the Mediterranean Kitchen, where Chef Alba will demonstrate dishes from the Mediterranean. And then on Tuesday, their Half Pint Kids Club is doing fruit tacos. At Art Farm in Annapolis, Sunday, check out their Vibe Flow and Chill Yoga. And their kids' winter semester is wrapping up. With Saturday, their experimental art, for ages 9 through 12, 
as well as their kids' art school for ages 6 through 8. Then Monday, there's their kids' art school evening session. But registration is open for their spring and summer camps, coming up in a week or two, with classes such as composition, drawing, watercolor, and more experimental art. At the Anne Arundel County Public Library system this week, today Bush Annapolis has spring craft, and Edgewater is doing Teens Create Wildflower Seed Bombs. On Saturday, Deal has SoCo Grows, Growing a Vegetable Garden, and Rivera Beach has Earth to Mars and Beyond, How Satellites Transmit Information Securely. And this week at the Patuxent Lapidary Guild on Sunday, their Casting 101, Basic Lost Wax Casting, continues. If you have any questions about the Annapolis Makerspace, the Maker Minutes, or any of these events, feel free to contact me at trevor at makeannapolis.org. And you can find links to all of these events at the Annapolis Makerspace website, also at makeannapolis.org. And whether you're making art, software, sawdust, or just a mess, chances are you're already a maker. This has been Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minute. Coping with advanced illness can be overwhelming, and determining the best options for a loved one isn't always so easy. But here at Hospice of the Chesapeake, your hometown hospice, we want you to know you do have a choice. You can choose exactly who provides the care and the type of care you receive. And it's your decision when and where your loved one receives that care. We have served our community, family, and friends for over 40 years. We are there when you need us. Learn how we can help at hospicechesapeake.org. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, iamannapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at I on Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.